Let's pray before we begin. Lord, please let us understand your word and put it in our hearts. May it shape our lives to be more like your Son. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Psalm 99 The Lord reigneth, let the people tremble. He sitteth between the cherubims, let the earth be moved. The Lord is great in Zion, and he is high above all the people. Let them praise thy great and terrible name, for it is holy. The king's strength also loveth judgment. Thou dost establish equity, thou executest judgment and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt ye the Lord our God, and worship at his footstool, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron among his priests, and Samuel among them that call upon his name, they called upon the Lord, and he answered them. He spake unto them in the cloudy pillar. They kept his testimonies and the ordinance that he gave them. Thou answeredst them, O Lord our God. Thou wast a God that forgavest them, though thou tookest vengeance of their inventions. Exalt the Lord our God, and worship at his holy hill, for the Lord our God is holy. Matthew Henry Commentary on Psalms chapter 99 verses 1 to 5. God governs the world by his providence, governs the church by his grace, and both by his Son. The inhabitants of the earth have cause to tremble, but the Redeemer still waits to be gracious. Let all who hear take warning and seek his mercy. The more we humble ourselves before God, the more we exalt him, and let us be thus reverent, for he is holy, verses 6 to 9. The happiness of Israel is made out by referring to the most useful governors of that people. They in everything made God's word and law their rule, knowing that they could not else expect that their prayers should be answered. They all wonderfully prevailed with God in prayer. Miracles were wrought at their request. They pleaded for the people and obtained answers of peace. Our prophet and high priest, of infinitely greater dignity than Moses, Aaron or Samuel, has received and declared to us the will of the Father. Let us not only exalt the Lord with our lips, but give him the throne in our heart. And while we worship him upon his mercy seat, let us never forget that he is holy. How does this chapter apply to you? Thank you for listening. If you want to know more about Jesus and what the gospel means to you, then hit the video shown on the left of the screen and please don't forget to subscribe. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless your day. Hello, we are Mark and Pearl Lambert, and we are the ministers of Jesus Answers Prayers. If you like this ministry, please help support it. The link to donate is found in the description below. Thank you and God bless.